beautiful family. Today, I want to share with you a very delicious strawberry butter cookie, perfect for Valentine's. But first things first, my apron is on, my hands are clean, and I am ready to show you my ingredients. First things first, getting all the dry ingredients together. I have one cup of all-purpose flour, two tablespoons of cornstarch, half a cup of powdered sugar, one teaspoon of baking powder, one pinch of salt. I am going to incorporate it really good. And to this, I'm going to add the wet ingredients. One whole egg, strawberry extract, color and flavor, vanilla extract. These butter cookies are really going to come out amazing. Of course, one stick of butter that I'm going to melt and then I am going to add it and start incorporating all the wet ingredients into the dry ingredients. This really takes time, but believe me, your butter cookies are going to come out so delicious that you're going to love them. Perfect for Valentine's Day. Well, let me incorporate it. Once I see that I can no longer incorporate it with the whisk, I am going to get a spatula and incorporate it. I want to make sure that everything is well incorporated, that I don't see any of the dry ingredients in the bowl. At this point, I am going to transfer and I am going to use my spatula. Look at this. It really gets nice and creamy. It's going to get a little um, hard, but to tell you the truth, it really comes out delicious. It's not too sugary. The sweetness is just perfect using the ingredients that I added. Once everything is incorporated and you no longer see any dry ingredients, then you are ready to put it on a plastic saran wrap so that you could make a little a little cylinder and then add it to your to your baggie look at this look how the texture looks this looks amazing and it smells delicious here I have the saran wrap I'm gonna go ahead and cut a little piece and then I'm going to add the mixture right in the center I'm going to make a little cylinder so I could put it in my little baggie look at this any kind of bag if you don't have these bags and of course I am going to use a a tip if you don't have a tip you could just do it round look at this this is such such an easy cookie delicious for any type when you want a delicious dessert look at this okay I'm going to put it in my pastry bag I'm going to cut this little edge off and I am going to go ahead, cut it off, and put it in my baggie. This pastry bag I am using, but if you don't have a pastry bag, you could just use a Ziploc. Once it's in here, then we are going to get our baking dish ready. Look how easy this is. Believe me, when I tell you that you could make it from scratch, you could make it from scratch. If Cooking with Gloria could do it, you could do it too. You just make your little circles nice, nice and wide. This cookie is not going to spread. It's going to keep the shape. But after you're done making your cookies, you're going to put them in the refrigerator, in the freezer for 10 minutes. This is going to help the cookie hold the shape and not spread too much. We're going to cook it at 350 Fahrenheit for at least... 10 to 15 minutes once you see the cookie the edges of the cookie getting nice and golden brown then you're ready to remove look how easy this is to make these amazing butter strawberry cookies at home if you have little ones well bring them in the kitchen have them help you with the decoration 
look how easy of course that right now it's get the mixture is getting nice and hard and that's exactly how you need to expect this to be i am going to continue with the rest and then i'm going to show you how easy it is to put the decoration right in the center look at this this looks amazing and i'm sure they're going to taste delicious with the flavor of the strawberry extract and color just perfect. I am going to go ahead and start adding the candy, the heart candies right in the middle. Look at this. These cookies are going to look amazing. Like I said, if you have little ones at home, bring them in the kitchen have them help you put the little candy in the center of the butter cookie. Well, I'm going to continue adding the rest and I'll show you when I'm done. I am completely done adding the candy right in the center of the butter cookie. And now I am ready to take it to the freezer. 10 minutes. After 10 minutes, look how hard they got. And that's exactly how you want them. So now take them to baking for 10 to 15 minutes. They're going to be nice and golden brown from the bottom. And they are ready to enjoy. Look how easy this is. It really takes about 25 minutes to make all this process. But to tell you the truth, you are going to enjoy them. Look how delicious they look. I am ready for the presentation. But of course, I need to make my coffee and enjoy this amazing cookie. If you like and love this recipe, leave me a thumbs up, share this video on social media with your friends, with your relatives, so Cooking with Gloria keeps growing. Look at this. I am going to enjoy it with a delicious homemade coffee. See you in just a little bit. Can't wait to enjoy. with these amazing sugar cookies perfect for valentine's of course i am going to enjoy it with an amazing homemade coffee they come out crispy yet soft and moist from the inside excuse me mm. Mm. delicious when you bake with love everything comes out perfect I hope, my friends, you make this amazing and delicious sugar cookie. If you liked and loved this amazing recipe, I invite you to subscribe, leave me a thumbs up, share this video on social media with your friends, with your relatives, so Cooking with Gloria keeps growing. Don't forget to push that notification bell, and if you did, leave it activated, so every time I make an amazing recipe, yes, you're going to be notified. Before I say I see you soon, I wish you nothing but the best. Peace and love. I love you guys. Thank you for being here. Thank you for being part of Cooking with Gloria. Like, subscribe, and share. See you soon. Bye-bye.